Hello there guys, what is going on? Son of Chelsea back here again for another edition of Let's Talk Chelsea. Hope you're all doing well and keeping safe. Going to be talking about some defensive targets in John Stones and Lewis Dunk today. Also the futures of Michi Batshuayi and Ethan Ampadu. But before we get into any of that, I want to ask you guys, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and a notification bell so you never miss an upload. Also hit that like button if you're enjoying the content because it helps out the channel as well. Let's first get into it with John Stones and Lewis Dunk. Darren Lewis here for the Mirror reporting that Chelsea I John Stones and Lewis Dunk double swoop in defensive restructure. Chelsea are ready to move for John Stones, even if they signed 40 million Brighton defender Lewis Dunk. Frank Lampard is working on a restructure of his back line after his side conceded 54 goals last season, the most in the top half of the table. Then Darren Lewis makes a comparison between Gary Cahill and Lewis Dunk, how Chelsea went in for Cahill in 2012. We bought him for 7 million at the time in 2012. I mean, considering how much fees have increased since then for players, I assume that if Chelsea were to sign Gary Cahill now, considering he was in the prime of his career at 26 when we bought him he'd probably be worth 40 million like Lewis Dunk is I think that sort of comparison is a fair one considering how Cahill was never sort of a considered a world-class centre-back but was a brilliant player for Chelsea he really was over a number of years he was a massive part of our Champions League triumph in 2012 also the two Premier League wins uh, with Jose Mourinho and Antonio Conte and if Lewis Dunk could be anything like Gary Cahill he'd be a brilliant signing and I think he definitely adds what Chelsea need a bit of leadership no nonsense defending but I also think his ability on the ball also his threats set pieces could be a massive uh, benefit to Chelsea it really could I've always been impressed by Lewis Dunk and I think that Premier League experience is key bringing in the centre back to our defence of course it's not the glamorous you know 90 million type signing that Chelsea fans may want but I think at the same time it could really help Chelsea next season especially in the short term but considering uh, Lewis Dunk's sort of fee and also how serious Chelsea are actually invested in Lewis Dunk is something we're going to have to wait and see how serious the link is also a bit on John Stones I mean I said this last week in a video about Stones I just don't think he had anything we don't already have in the likes of Andreas Christensen and Antonio Rodica. I don't really see the point of bringing in John Stones. Um, it seems like a bit of a wasted transfer to me. I just don't think Stones will improve our defence. I just can't see it. I know he's had good years in the past, but considering he barely plays for Man City anymore, it just does not seem like a good move. Please let me know your opinions on both John Stones and Lewis Dunk in the comments below. Do you think either of them could help sort out Chelsea's defensive problems next season? Now moving on to Nazar Kinsella's piece for goal yesterday, which talked a little bit about the futures of Chelsea's youngsters. Some going out on loan away from Stamford Bridge to get experience and game time uh, next season. As you can see from the title, Brozier set for the test loan, but Ampadu wants to fight for a spot under Lampard at Chelsea. For me, the biggest thing about this article was, of course, Brozier going out on loan, uh, Trevor Chalaba going out on loan as well to France. But for me, the future of Ethan Ampadu that Nizar Kinsella reports on here, that despite having a host of loan offers for Ampadu next season, Ampadu is keen to try and impress Frank Lampard in training sessions, putting any moves on hold. Lampard is understood to be a huge fan of the 19-year-old who was on loan at RB Leipzig last season but arrived into Stamford Bridge with the youngster already having agreed to a Bundesliga move. Chelsea have yet to push Ampadu to look for a loan out of West London for another season, leaving the door open for his stay but the situation is subject to change with a host of major transfer targets being pursued in the market. I'm really excited by this news. I really hope Ethan Ampadu is maybe given an opportunity for Chelsea next season in the first team squad. I think his versatility and maturity already at a young age for me are key components of why I think he could be a really useful player for Frank Lampard next season. Firstly, that CDM role. Um, we're sort of looking for someone who could fill in for Kante. Of course, Kante's fitness is a big question mark for next season. If his injuries persist, it's going to be another major problem for Chelsea. And also Kante playing in a role uh, predominantly probably next season in a 4-3-3 if Frank makes that his main formation, which Kante isn't really used to. So that could be a trouble for Chelsea, you know, him adapting to that role. Of course, he's a world-class talent. We know that. And I think at times, uh, especially uh, at the start of Project Restart, as I've spoke about before, I think Kante showed why it could be very useful in that role for Frank Lampard but I think having someone to fill in at times to rotate the team which is going to be a big part of next season for Chelsea in a congested season I think Ampadu could turn out to be that player and I think Ethan Ampadu could be a surprisingly important player for Frank Lampard next season in rotation also his ability to play at centre-back I think is a key thing for him as well I think maybe his future could be in central midfield but I think that's something he's still learning and still adapting to finding what the best position is for him to play in and I definitely think he could get maybe 20 to 25 appearances for Chelsea next season under Frank Lampard. He wants to give younger players time and I think Ampadu could be the next to break through under Lampard. I really think that that could be the case. I mean, we've seen sort of links and heard about links to the likes of Fulham, potentially a Premier League loan next season. If he is to go out on loan, he has to go somewhere where he's going to get regular playing time. He can't have the same situation like he did at Leipzig last season, where maybe that's a good experience for him, you know, going to the Bundesliga, a very exciting club under Julian Negelsmann, an exciting coach. Of course, they're in the Champions League semi-final now, of course, playing with a, a new Chelsea player in, in 
in Timo Werner for a season, but at the same time, he just did not get the required amount of time on the pitch for his development. And of course, being a Wells international, I think it's a case with Ampadu that there's going to be a crossroads if we keep on learning him out and not giving him time in the first team. I think a big club will come calling for him and potentially he may move away from Stamford Bridge. So I think this is the perfect opportunity for him to get his chance to impress Frank Lampard and break into the first team. Please let me know your opinions on Ethan Ampadu. Do you think he'll be a big player for Chelsea next season? Do you think he'll stay with the club or do you think he'll get a Premier League loan? Please let me know in the comments below. And lastly, I want to talk about Michi Batshuayi because in Nazar Kinsella's report as well, he does talk about Batshuayi potentially leaving and potentially going to Leeds. Batshuayi's representatives are looking to get him out of Chelsea and have sounded out Marcelo Bielsa's Leeds United over a potential move with the newly promoted side seeking a striker. Bielsa worked with Batshuayi at Marseille, but it's thought that there are more suitors for the Belgium international whose contract expires next summer. Leeds seems to be the obvious name at the moment. Of course, there is that connection to Bielsa for Batshuayi from his time at Marseille. Um, in the past, um, I can see that working out. And of course, uh, Leeds being promoted to the Premier League want to strengthen their squad for the upcoming season. And I think Batshuayi, that could be a good place for him to go to um, to play next season. Um, I just think the fee is a big thing for Chelsea. You know, if Chelsea are still going to be demanding something upwards of like 40 million, they're just not going to get it for Batshuayi um, anymore. They maybe could have a couple of seasons ago when he was going out and loan to like Borussia Dortmund and Crystal Palace, but not anymore. He's not got any time under Frank Lampard pretty much since the second half, definitely since Project Restart, but even before then, I think, you know, very limited game time under Frank Lampard. And I think it's going to be very difficult. So maybe 15 to 20 million, that could be asking even a lot 20 million at the moment. But I think getting Michy Batshuayi out of Chelsea permanently, I think is a big thing for Chelsea. He's one of those players probably with high wages we need to get out. It's going to be a struggle, I'm sure, for Marina and the club to get a decent fee for him. But at the same time, I think it's a player that just needs to cut ties now uh, with at the moment because he's just he does not have a future at Stamford Bridge anymore. He's just going to be sitting on the bench once again next season. Lampard doesn't trust him. Under a coach he already knows, I think that could be a positive for him. What do you make of uh, Michy Batshuayi's time at Chelsea? I've spoken a lot about him in the channel before. You know, I think we very much know now he'll be exiting Stamford Bridge this summer. Maybe it could be a loan to buy type option that Chelsea could be going in for, but I think, you know, that could be difficult and maybe just asking for the fee up front this summer will be the way to go. But that is it for this edition of Let's Talk Chelsea. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch it. If you did enjoy it, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Follow me on Twitter at Son of Chelsea. Have a great day and I'll see you again. <laughs>